April 17, Wednesday, Wednesday of Holy Week A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew One of the twelve who was called Judas Iscariot went to the chief priest and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on, he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him. The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord, he said in reply. He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord One of you will betray me. This is the sad part of Jesus' story. Jesus is aware that someone in his inner circle will betray him. In fact, from the chief priest, Judas receives 30 pieces of silver to facilitate Jesus' arrest and consequently his trial and death. At the Passover feast, Families joyfully celebrate the liberation of Israel from slavery in Egypt. With Jesus and his disciples, however, the mood is gloomy. They partake of the Passover Seder meal with mixed feelings. Here, Jesus teaches love and service for the brothers, but Judas does the opposite. Jesus is not spared of a flawed friendship. There are always imperfections in relationships. When we feel betrayed by family or friends, let us turn to Jesus. Betrayal is not the end of this story. If we are on the side of God, we will be vindicated. Let us pray for the strength to carry out our crosses. Jesus teaches that our sufferings can be salvific. We can receive healing by participating at the Eucharist that celebrates God's love, healing, forgiveness, and blessings.